So in this tutorial, we're going to be working on our nine row fringe and we're going to be starting off here with our foundation stitch. So that is nine rows. As you can see, every single row has three beads in it and that is going to be the foundation for our pyramid of brick stitches. Not every pattern is going to have three in this row. Some foundation stitches are only one bead or two beads. but I prefer using three beads. It gives a nice clean look. It's a lot easier in my opinion, opinion to learn this way. And for my patterns, for any sort of single brick stitch, we're going to be using this three bead foundation stitch. I'm gonna be using some yarn and a yarn needle. And this fits perfectly in our jumbo plastic beads. I highly recommend doing this if you are just starting out to just practice on these jumbo beads to get a feel for things. So you're gonna start off by grabbing six beads. Just like that. And you're going to thread through all the way to the bottom and leaving a decent tail and you're going to just fold those in half so that you have two rows and you're going to thread your needle up through the first row so that it creates a loop and they're going to start to stack next to each other then you're going to take your needle and pass down through your second row and give it a nice little tug here at the bottom with both threads and as you continue your foundation stitching these will start to stack together a little bit better, so don't worry too much right now. And your tail is always going to stay here on your left-hand side. I like to kind of just hold on to it a little bit with my, with my pinky finger. And the next step is to take three more beads. Now, as you see, this thread is going down. We are going to follow that path, but we are gonna start at the top of these beads and go down through that row of beads. Give it a nice little tug. And as you can see how it's like kind of loose here, in order to bring some stability, we're gonna pass back through these beads going upwards. Now it's gonna alternate between that and going the opposite direction. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So now we're going to do the opposite direction. We're gonna pick up three more beads. And instead of going down through our row of beads, we're gonna go up because as you see, this thread is going up. We're gonna follow that path and we're gonna go up through these beads. And to stabilize, we're gonna pass down. And we're going to repeat this alternation until we have nine rows of our foundation stitch. So I'm gonna pick up three more beads. I'm gonna follow that path and I'm gonna go down through this row of beads and then up through this new set of beads to stabilize it. Give it a nice little tug to secure and as you can see, they're starting to stack together a little nicer. Pick up three more beads. Follow that path up. And then go down through our new set of beads to stabilize. Last one, I'm gonna go down and then up. Give it a nice little tug. All right, so we've got our foundation right here. So referring back to my diagram, we have completed this whole area here. And now we're going to begin our new row 
of brick stitches with a single bead across the entire row. And the way we're going to do that is that this is a starting stitch right here and it has two beads. Then the rest of the row is going to have a single bead for every time we add. So I'm going to pick up two beads to start this row and I'm going to look here at these loops that we've created and I'm going to skip the first loop, and go to the second loop and from the back of our work to the front of our work, I'm going to pass through that loop with my needle and then I'm going to pull. And as you can see, these new beads that we've added already are starting to stack themselves. But in order to secure them down, what we're going to do is we're going to pass through this bead here that's on the left. We're gonna go up, give it a nice little tug, and then we're gonna go down through the bead that is on the right. And one more time, we're gonna go up through the bead on the left. This is our starting row stitch. Okay, give it a nice little tug so that they, they stack nicely. And that is how we begin a new row every time. So from here on out, I'm just gonna take a single bead. I'm gonna go to that next loop that's there. I'm gonna do the same thing, pass from behind to the front. I'm going to pull through. And then I'm gonna pass my needle up through this new bead and give it a nice little tug to make it snug. Just like that. So let's continue. So for each new row, we're going to be decreasing by one. So our foundation stitch was nine. This row will be eight. The next row will be seven and so forth. From back to front, pull through, go up through your new bead, give it a little tug. Again, we're going to pick up one bead from back to front. We're going to pass through here, go up through your new bead, and give it a little tug to tighten. Pick up one bead from back to front through that loop and up through your new bead. Give it a nice little tug to snug in it. All right, so that is our first row of our brick stitch. We've got our foundation stitch and we've got our first row of brick stitch. Some people like to turn their work at this point and continue with that stitch going this, that same direction every time they start a new row. Personally, I find that the work turns out a little cleaner if I keep my work in one direction, always with my tail on this left-hand side, and then I just reverse the direction of my starting row stitch and continue on. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna teach you the way I prefer to do it. So we're gonna keep our work like this. We're gonna pick up two beads to start our row. We're going to skip this first loop, go into the second loop. We're gonna go from back to front. And we're gonna do the same thing as before. So we're gonna pass through the bead that's now on the right hand side. We're gonna go down through the bead on the left and then back through our bead on the right and give it a nice little tug to make them snug, just like that. And I'm going to continue my brick stitch. Pick up one bead, pass through here up through my new set my new bead pick up one bead and through the loop and up through my new bead just like that and this 
row is going to have seven beads. Make sure that you are keeping your tension by giving a nice little pull and just keeping your beads nice and snug. This will also be true for your size 11 seed beads and any other seed beads that you use. You always wanna keep things nice and snug. Don't pull too tight to where you're going to snap your thread, but just enough to get them to line up really nice and uniform and snug. Keep doing this for four more rows, doing the same stitch over and over again. And I'll meet you at the end when we are left with three beads in a row. So there you go. You can see this great big pyramid. And for our last row of brick stitching, we are only going to have two beads. So what we're gonna do is we're going to basically do the same starting row stitch here with two beads. Grab yourself two beads, skip the first loop, go through the second loop from back to front, up through the bead on the left, down through the bead on the right, and back up through the bead on the left. Give it a nice little tug. All right, that is our last row of our little pyramid. And now we're going to do this little section here that's going to create a little loop for our earring findings, our little earring hooks. We are going to take six beads And we are going to go down through this bead here. And we're going to get our beads to stack nicely next to each other in two rows. So there's three in each row. And we're going to go up through all four of these beads. And then back down through all four of these beads. So the next step is to tie a little knot in here to secure this work so it's nice and secure. And the way I like to do this is just to pass my needle from back to front through this little loop here and tying a knot. So I'll pass my needle from back to front. And then I'm going to pass my needle through this little loop that I've made just like that and I'm going to pull tight and then I have a very short a very short tail here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna weave it through here so that I hide this little tail and then I would be starting with a new thread if you have a very long tail left ideally you would then what you would do is you would just weave your thread through all your beads until this area here where you can start your friend fringe so i'll show you what i mean by weave what i really mean is just to pass your needle through so i'm just gonna stick my needle through the beads like so and pull just like that 